I'll tell you what time it was. 10.49. Huh. The Lord rejects Saul as king. This is going to be all for Samuel chapter 15. Well, that was simple. Samuel said to Saul, I am the one the Lord sent to anoint you king over his people Israel. So listen now to the message from the Lord. This is what the Lord Almighty says. I will punish the Alchemites for what they ha they did to Israel when they when they waylaid them as they came up out from Egypt. <coughs> now go attack the Amalekites and totally destroy the Hebrew term refers to the in irrevocable giving over of things or persons to the Lord, often by totally destroying them. Often. Often. Also in verses 8, 9, 15, 18, 20, and 21. So, you know, when destroyed, that's just what it means. Anyway, all that belongs to them, do not spare them, put to death men and women, children and infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. So Saul summoned the men and mustered them at Telman, T-E-L-A-I-M, 200,000 foot soldiers and 10,000 men from Judah. <coughs> Saul went to the city of Akla, A-M-A-L-E-K, and sent an ambush in the ravine and set an ambush in the ravine. Then he said to the Kenites, Go away, leave the Echolites, so I do not destroy you along with them, for you show kindness kindness to all the Israelites when they came up out of Egypt. So the Kenites moved away from the Echolites, warning them like, Hey, get out of the way. Or you might end up dead too. Then Saul attacked the Eclamites all the way from Hava, H A V I L A H, to Shur, S H U R, near the eastern boundary, no, near the eastern border of Egypt. He took Ag, A G A G, the king of the Eclamites, alive, and, his, and all his people he totally destroyed with the sword. Why did he keep the King alive, but Saul and the army spared Egg and the best of the sheep and cattle and fat calves. Why of all the things you want to keep the alive, do you keep the king alive? That just seems random. Saul is weird. Or growth grown bulls. The meaning of this of the Hebrew word for this phrase is uh, phrase is uncertain. That doesn't really mean much and lambs, everything that was good, these were these they were unwilling to destroy completely, but everything that was despised and weak, they totally destroyed. <coughs> See, they only take what they want. <coughs> then the word of the Lord came to Samuel, I regret that I have made Saul king, because he has turned away from me, and has not carried out my instructions. So Samuel was angry, he, he, and he cried out to the Lord all that night. Early in the morning, Samuel got up and went to meet Saul, but he was told, old, Saul has gone to Cam Carmel, Carmel, C A R M E L. There he had set up a monument in his own honor, and has turned and gone down to Gil, G I L G A L. <laughs> totally, totally was to 
self-centered. <coughs> only people who do that are, only people who's, yeah, people who set up their own monuments are pretty much that. When Samuel reached him, Saul said, The Lord bless you. I have carried out the Lord's instructions. Have I carried out the Lord's instruction? No, I have carried out the Lord's instructions. But Samuel said, What then is this bleeding of sheep in my ears? What is this lowing of cows that I hear? Saul answered, The soldiers brought from, brought fr them from the Aclamites. They spared the best of the sheep and cattle to sacrifice to the Lord our God do the Lord your God, but we totally destroyed the rest. <coughs> Did God say he wanted sack? No, he said he wanted to totally destroy. Do what God says. Exactly what he says. Got that? Anyway, enough, Samuel said to Saul. Let me tell you what the Lord said to me last night. Tell me, Saul replied. Samuel said, Although you were once small in your own eyes, did you not become the head of the tribes of Israel? The Lord anointed you king over Israel, and he set you on a mission, saying, Go and completely destroy those wicked people, the Eclamites, wage war against them until you have wiped them out, Why did you not obey the Lord? Why did you pounce on the plunder and do evil in the eyes of the Lord? But I, I did obey the Lord, Saul said. I went on the mission the Lord assigned me and completely destroyed the Aclamites and brought back Ag, A-G, A-G, their king. The soldiers took the sheep and cattle from the plunder the best of what we the best of what what was devoted to God in order to sacrifice them to the Lord your God at Gel. But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the Lord? Hmm To Obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is to is better than the fat of rams. For rebellion is like sin of is like the sin of devastation, and arrogance is an arrogance like the evil of idolatry. Yes, because you yourself are the idol to yourself, because you have rejected the word of the Lord. He has rejected you as king. Then Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned, violated the Lord's command and your instructions. I was afraid of the men, and so I gave them, gave in to them. Now I beg you, forgive my sin and come back with me so that I may worship the Lord. But Samuel said, I will not go back with you. You have rejected the word of the Lord, and the Lord has rejected you as king over Israel. As Samuel turned to leave, Saul the whole, caught hold of the hem of his robe and tore it. Samuel said to him, The Lord has torn the kingdom of Israel from you today and has given it to one of your neighbors, to one better than you. He who is the glory of Israel does not lie or change his mind, for he has not for he is not a human being that he should change his mind. Yeah. This isn't the first time Saul messed up, remember that. Saul replied, I have sinned, but please honor me before the elders of my people and before Israel. 
come back with me so that I may so that I may worship the Lord your God and look he keeps on saying your God not our God so Samuel went back with Saul Saul and Saul worshiped the Lord then Saul, Samuel said bring me Ag king of the Akramites Egg came to him in chains. The meaning of this Hebrew word is uncertain, so it might just mean something closer to chains, but they're not completely sure. And thought, surely the bitterness of death is past. And he thought, surely the bitterness of death is past. Yeah. But Samuel said, as your sword has made women childless, so will your mother be childless among women. And Samuel put Og to death before the Lord at Gil, G I L G A L. Then Samuel left for Rema, R A M A H. But Saul went up to his home in Geba, G-I-B-E-A-H, of Saul. <coughs> Until the day Samuel died, he did not go to see Saul again, though Samuel mourned for him, and the Lord regretted that he made Saul king over Israel. Whew. That was a long one. Do you know what's coming up next? Tomorrow. T because it's 11.01. It's 11 and that means 